Hey everyone, I'm Jason. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to program your Megabox remote control. I thought I did a video on this, but I didn't. Uh, so some of you guys are asking me if I could do one. So this is the brand new Megabox remote control, the one with the voice command. So in order to program this, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need your TV remote. If you have a Samsung, LG, Sony, some remotes like this guy right here is a Bluetooth remote. It will not work. If you have an older Samsung remote, grab that. That will still control your TV. So right now I'm going to use this one. If you have an amplifier, soundbar, if you use that to control your volume, very important, you're going to need that remote as well. So in this video, I'm just going to use the Samsung remote. So to program this, you're going to press and hold the power button until the light becomes solid. Once it becomes solid, then it gets into programming mode. So right now, I'm going to press and hold. It's flashing. Now it's solid. So we're going to try to keep it about an inch apart. First one we're going to do is press the power. While it's flashing, press the power on the remote control. You get the double flash and now it's programmed. So now we could pick a different one. So now we're going to do volume up and volume and do the same with the next button. Keep in mind, if you want to control the volume, this is where you grab your amp or soundbar remote. Input. In my case is source if you want to change the input on the TV. And that's all to it. Keep in mind guys, once it's all done, hit any button outside of these ones. I just hit the OK button, it gets me out. Now these buttons are programmed. One more thing that I would like to mention is this is a Bluetooth remote. So to get this remote into Bluetooth, what you're going to do is you're going to press the left button and the right button at the same time. Once the power light here starts to flash, that means it's in discovery mode. Then you go to your box, go to settings, go to Bluetooth, and it will appear there. Once it appears, just click on it so that it could connect. Once it shows connect, you're good to go. Okay, guys. That's all I have for you today. If you guys have any questions, please give me a comment below. If you like this video, hit those thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day. We have to head over to the gear. Let's go to Bluetooth, pair a new device. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to press the left and the right button at the same time. Okay, light starts to flash over here. And right over here, Bluetooth remote. Click on it. And now this is paired. And now we got it connected.